he was uh, often very much under pressure and he created amazing things uh, especially when it comes to uh, when it comes very hard he turned around these pressures into the creativity and he made amazing things out of this and he started to play drums uh, professionally and at the same time he moved in a commune where all the advertising agents and people were and in this commune, um, you can imagine all these people thinking about uh, advertisement, hanging everywhere, noise, uh, notes, uh, small notes uh, on walls, noise, 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 because noise means new, and it's on every product. Uh, Michael was grown up in Pakistan, he heard this uh, music from Pakistan as a child, and Klaus, his drumming was very minimalistic, it was almost like, some people say machine, motoric beat, but for me, it's very tribal. And this mixture of uh, minimalistic tribal beat with European melody, European musicality, this is a very unique part of Mars. It's very interesting. Two people don't understand each other at all in a personal and private life, but they understood in studio musically completely. Uh, Dusseldorf emerged um, quite naturally out of noise. He started to work on the pop songs where you can sing along and uh, where it's very clear structures. He started to work with his brother, so the big brother taught smaller brother how to drum. And uh, the smaller brother had a good sense of decorating things and styling. I think uh, it was Dusseldorf that uh, David Boy, in fact, said that it was uh, his favorite uh, album of the 80s. Any human has the potential to be an artist. And he was not just a musician or composer, but he created his uh, artwork of the album. He created his style. He was wearing always a white overall. He thought um, the taste you shouldn't buy. You, sh you should have it on your own and you should create. Your own style. I met Klaus in 2000 and at the same time Klaus met a, a guy, a Japanese guy called Kazu and he started to work with Kazu uh, on Viva Remix. Klaus invited a musician and artist into his studio to create something new for the next millennium. And from this, these sessions uh, emerged the uh, Japan which means like combination of Japan and Düsseldorf. Düsseldorf is very famous for its Japanese town from the early 70s. We were about to finish the album Yabato. We recorded all the songs and suddenly Klaus went away. 21st of March was a full moon day, Easter Friday and it was totally sunny. It was, um, we, we didn't expect at all. I felt when he passed away, then I realized he was also a human being. It was really extraordinary person. It will be coming out next year in March, end of March. The album talk will be released from Greenland. On Klaus' birthday, on 24th of March, I opened an exhibition in Dusseldorf. Klaus always wanted to make a book. So through this exhibition, um, this dream came true. And I made a book uh, which is 96, which has 96 pages of pictures and interviews of Klaus, mainly uh, on his own words. He was always uh, repeatedly saying about quantum being. We have to uh, invent ourselves new, so we have to create a um, new way to live on Earth and be um, peaceful with ours and with other people. Like he's singing in uh, Cha Cha 2000, um, uh, Dance to the Future with Me, and that's exactly what he means with his music. Um, he was always thinking about future and what it could be, and uh, the, the music we don't know, the art we don't know yet, is still there for us to create. 
Fade away.